Hello beautiful and amazing people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris T and today I thought I would start off the video with showing my face to the camera. It's actually been a while since I've done this. I don't think I've done this since January. So I thought I would come by and just say hello, do a little bit of a check-in before we get into today's video. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope you are feeling some spring vibes wherever you are, or I guess if you're in the opposite hemisphere, the fall vibes. But yes, I am excited to be back on camera to say hello to you all and to present today's video. So today I decided that I was going to be doing some bookmarks and I had this idea for a little bit of time. We actually own a laminator in my house. So I was like, hmm, I think it'd be cool to laminate a project, but I don't think I would want to laminate just like a print. So I had the genius idea to make some bookmarks and it's actually coming at a great time because I'm one of those people who will just shove random pieces of papers into my books and it's not really cute. It's not really organized, but the idea of spending money on a bookmark sometimes just pains me and I definitely should because my mom is always buying bookmarks and so she has a lot so I guess this was also inspired by her I was like if I make some bookmarks maybe I can give her one so she can have one that's really special and personally made so that was the idea and I decided to go with it of course I decided to use watercolor as I am most familiar with it I have been into botanical and flower drawings recently I haven't done a whole lot but I knew I wanted to do some more so I went onto my iPad, I sketched some ideas of some flowers that I liked after looking on Pinterest, and that was the plan. I was gonna make some flower bookmarks, a set of four, and they were gonna have a nice little quote in the back that I was really excited about. So getting into the process itself, I know I usually am very structured with my watercolor pieces. Some artists use watercolor in a very watercolor way. Um, I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but what I mean by that is it's very painterly, very loose, very flowy, the way you'd imagine when you think of watercolor as a paint medium. I typically go in with a very structured sketch, the details, the watercolor is supposed to stay in that sketch, not really going out of the lines, not really flowing the way water does. But this time I wanted to be a little bit more flowy with my art and I wanted these flowers to look a little bit more organic. I thought that would be a nice look for them. So I made a little, a light sketch of each of the flowers, but I really went in with the watercolor and making sure that that was just kind of like the main vibe and focal point. So that was the plan for these pieces. And so I will let you know, it's definitely too early on now to be telling you, but what I ended up doing afterwards was I wanted to go over with a line art. And that was another way that I wanted to loosely just line over the flowers, not necessarily get all the details in, but kind of go outside the lines, in the lines, and just kind of showcase these more organic feeling flowers. For the flowers I chose, it was a mixture of something that I wanted to do and things that I found on Pinterest after looking up, you know, a bunch of flowers. So I knew I wanted to do tulips. Tulips are my mom's favorite flower. She loves yellow tulips, so I knew I would have to pay homage to her and do a yellow tulip. So yellow tulips for my mom, purple lavender because I thought that would be a fun, interesting flower shape. And then I have poppies because I have been saving these images of poppies on Pinterest for a little bit of time. And I think they're so beautiful. They're so fun. They're just the, like a really cute flower and they're really fun to draw. So I wanted to include poppies. And the last one was lilies. And I forget exactly what type of lily these are. I think they might be calla lilies. Either way, I just think lilies are another pretty flower. They're very feminine and I thought it was nice because it was a different shape. So that was something that I really liked with this art piece that each flower was going to be a different shape. They were going to kind of stand out on their own. And so even if you didn't have the set together, they will look great as like an individual bookmark. So another reason why I chose the flowers that I did was because I wanted each one to have a different color. I didn't want them to be the same color. I really wanted them again to be able to stand alone. So that's why I went with purple for the lavenders, yellows for the tulips, red for the poppies, and this pinkish yellowish for the lilies. I thought that would be, be really nice. And I do actually love them all together. I love how they're very distinctly their own, but they do look like they're a part of a set at the end of the day. And I think the green stems helps with that a lot. 
After I finished painting each of the bookmarks, I knew I wanted to add something to the back and I really like quotes. I think it's really nice when people write you a handwritten message in a book that they gift to you. So I knew I wanted these bookmarks to be inspirational and have something on the backs of them that was going to be meaningful while you're reading whatever book you're reading. So I definitely asked my mom to help me out with this because I'm not great at cursive. Actually, I'm pretty bad at cursive to be honest. So I wanted her to write them on the backs and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do Bible verses about nature. I thought that would be fitting for the flower themes and I love Bible verses. So it was very close, near and dear to my heart, I think, to do it like this. So that's what we did on the backs. I had my mom write out four different quotes about nature from the Bible. And next step was to laminate them. So we have this laminator machine and I've actually never used it myself before this point. My mom has definitely used it a bunch of times and I know she's burned something with the laminator before. So to say I was a little bit concerned that I was going to mess up all of my work well, is, is an understatement. So I just kind of like powered it on, read the instructions. It seemed simple enough and I was like, well, let's hope it doesn't burn. I think definitely because watercolor paper is thicker and because my mom's already burnt one, it, it went well. So I was able to laminate them all and they came out absolutely perfect. So I just cut them out and I used one of my, my cutting boards, cutting boards, my paper cutters to do so. So I cut them all out and they were finished. So I had these nice shiny laminated bookmarks and I'm so excited to start using them. I think they came out really great. So yeah, I overall really had fun with this process and I'm glad I was able to do what I wanted to do. So that being said, since I am here and I wanted to do a little bit of an update with you all, I wanted to talk about kind of what's going on in my life, something really exciting. So I've decided that I want to start a business. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know. It's something that I've never really thought I would accomplish in my life. But I've been in this mindset, I think, since honestly the start of 2020, where I'm just kind of like, I'm just going to do things. And, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I'm not going to be scared to at least try. So I am starting a business and it's going to be to sell stickers and hopefully eventually prints and other types of artwork on Etsy to start off with. But I think once I build a good audience, I'm definitely going to go to having my own website. Super crazy scary, but honestly very excited. This is something that I knew I was going to do at the start of January of this year. Actually, I, I had the plan since last year, but I said I was going to start in January and I have been trying to, but I've decided to go the route instead of being like a sole proprietor, words that I still don't fully understand. <laughs> I've decided to go the route and have an LLC. So that's been a process. It took seven full weeks for that to be approved. And then I had to get other documentation. I had to get an EIN. I had to schedule with the bank to get a separate business bank account. There's been so much. So honestly, I'm still really at the beginning of actually starting the business, but I am going to make a full video on that of the journey of becoming this business owner and starting off really small, because I think it's something that if anyone wants to do, they really should do it and you shouldn't let your inhibition stop you. And this has been a journey of powering through and trusting the process and not rushing just taking it one step at a time and it's kind of been nice because as things have been taking a little bit of time i've been able to do some research figure out how exactly i want to be able to sell these stickers what is the best way do i want to end up owning a sticker printing and cutting machine or do i want to outsource all that information i have been learning along the way and i completely don't have a lot of thoughts on it still but I'm figuring it out and so I'm so excited to start that. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm glad I started the business as well because I think eventually my life when I can be a little bit more creative in my career, I think I would love to look into things like Patreon and things like that. That's a, a, a way down the line thing at this point. So no promises for that on, in terms of when that's gonna start, I have no idea. But I just want to start off by selling some stickers and seeing how that goes, learning what sells, learning what doesn't. And yeah, it's it's just really exciting and new territory for sure. But that's that's all things in life, isn't it? So look out for a video on that. I have some other videos in the queue, some things that I'm excited to share with you all, as I usually am. And now that I made these bookmarks, that might be something to put on the website, too. I might be able to sell a few bookmarks to people. So who knows? I'm just kind of taking all this journey one day, at, one day at a time and just learning myself through the process. But thank you all for being here. Um, we have been growing like crazy, 
even though I haven't been posting as frequently, I've been doing pretty well at an every other week schedule, but not as frequently as I would ideally like to. I would love to post weekly, get back to that schedule one day. But for now, bi-weekly has been working. And again, I do have a few other videos in the queue, which is awesome. But so grateful for the growth that I'm experiencing, for the people who comment, for the people who like my videos, and for the new subscribers. I see y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm just excited to create more content for you all. Thank you all so much for watching. We have a few more minutes left of this, so I'll leave you with some music and I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.